Today, we're going to explore the letter A. A says A or A says A. We're going to explore the letter A. And we're going to explore the letter A with drawing. We're going to explore the letter A with writing. We're going to make a craft for the letter A. And we're going to, well, I'm going to make you a beautiful painting that explores something that starts with the letter A. A gift to you, my friend. If you're excited for this episode, put your hands up. Put your hands down. Grab your magic paintbrush and wave it all around. Clap your hands and join me as we explore the letter A. we're going to explore the letter A. And apple starts with the letter A. So we're going to write an uppercase letter A, a lowercase letter A, and the word apple. And then we're going to also draw the word, or the, yeah, we're going to draw an apple. All right. Let's start with our uppercase letter A. We're going to draw one line up. One line down. And connect in the middle. That is our uppercase letter A. A lowercase letter A is a circle with one line on the right side. The letter A. The word apple starts with the letter A and we spell it with A P Pull. We can hear two P's, double consonant. Up, pull. Up, pull. So we can hear two P's. That's why there's two P's. And then we have an L. Up, ol. Ol, the word, the sound ol is made with an L E. Up, ol. L E at the end. Pull, up, pull, up, pull. And apple starts with the letter A. Let's draw an apple with anything that you want to draw with. Let's draw a rectangle for apple's stem. We're going to put two dots a little bit up on the apple stem. We're going to put them just a little bit higher, one on each side. We're going to draw one curved line around and up. Then we're going to draw, starting at the next dot, a line around and up at the bottom. It's not a perfect circle. Apples have different parts. They have the core that runs the middle and a little piece at the bottom so they kind of tuck under. And of course they kind of dip down where that stem is, where it attaches to the tree. If you want, you can give your apple a leaf. You can draw one line out from the stem. Back in and connect. Then we can draw zigzag lines out and zigzag lines back in to make a beautiful apple leaf. 
we can draw a curving little triangle for the shiny part of our apple. And then you can add any choice details to your apple that you want. Maybe you want to give your apple a face. You can draw a line in the middle and connect it with the letter U. You can draw a curved line down from one side down to the bottom and color it in dark, leaving just the tongue nice and white. And then on each side we can draw a circle for Apple's eyes. In each circle, we can draw one more smaller circle. Let's color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those little circles nice and white. And once you're done, you can grab your choice of colors to color in your apple. Once you're done, you're ready to join me for the craft. Hello and welcome back. We're going to be creating an alligator for the letter A in this craft. So A for alligator. We're going to need a toilet paper roll and an alligator color piece of paper. Boop. All right. We're going to make our paper green. So we're going to wrap up our toilet paper roll. And we're gonna take our green piece of paper, we're gonna fold it in half in landscape orientation, or hot dog. Like that. When we open it, we can see that there is a crease down the middle. And we're going to cut up that crease line. So beautiful. Now we have two pieces of paper. One, two. One, two. All right, we're going to take one and we're gonna save it again for another late another time. Actually, we're gonna use part of it for the tail and maybe the legs, that would be nice. All right, we're gonna make the body green. So we're gonna take our toilet paper roll and we're gonna place it on one end. And we can either tape or glue it to the roll. And then we gotta roll it. All right, we got it all rolled up. So now we gotta tape it 
or glue it so it doesn't come apart. Beautiful. All right, once that's done, we're going to need to make the legs, the face for alligator, and the tail. That's what we need. All right, start off with the face. I'm gonna make an alligator face coming down. All right, so I drew a nice face shape, kind of like a leaf. Once you have your face, can I see it? Nope. I thought maybe I could see it through the paper so you guys can see me cutting it out. No worries, we're just gonna cut it out and you can make your face whatever shape you want. There's no right or wrong way to make a lot an alligator for the letter A. All right, alligator's face will go on like that. But I need to draw on a face. So maybe I'll give alligator two eyes. And maybe some nostrils and some alligator spots. Maybe I'll color the spots in orange. Okay, so I got face cut out. And then I'm gonna add that to my toilet paper roll. Then you can glue it on or tape it. It's up to you. I'm gonna bend it down so it just hangs forward. So now alligator has a face. Oh, you know what? He would have some spikes too. I'm gonna have to use my recycling bin. Make some spikes. We'll do that next. No, later. At the end, maybe. All right, we need to make a tail. So we're gonna cut out a triangle. Cut out a triangle. Okay. We're going to add cut a little slit on the top and bottom. Toilet paper roll. Mine has a little paper overlap. And then we're gonna slide this in between. Oh yeah. Now we have a tail. Okay, so tail's on. We need some legs. So we're going to draw four legs, two for the front, two for the back. You can draw them however you want. I'm just gonna do basic legs. I'm still using this green piece of paper. Cut them out nice and tidily. Okay, and then we gotta glue them or tape them to the body. Here we go. Nice. That looks good. Now I think that looks really nice how it is. So I don't think we need a nice, I don't think we need spikes on the back. Okay. 
But what we do need is to draw some cool patterns. So you can take whatever felt marker colors you want. Maybe you want to add some dots or zigzags. Or other different, little different designs to your alligator. And once you're done, your lovely alligator craft is done. All right. And we're going to end this episode with a lovely painting, my gift to you, my lovely friend. Because we did the letter A, we're going to paint something that begins with the letter A using watercolor paints, watercolor paints. And I'm going to paint an ant for you because ant starts with the letter A. A for ant. Let's paint an ant.
lots of fun exploring the letter A with me, creating a lovely alligator craft. I hope you enjoyed, woo, <laughs> creating a lovely apple, drawing and exploring the letter A with me with crafts, drawings, and art. Well, my friend, I hope you have a wonderful day and have explored the letter A and have learned things too. For more art lessons online and ideas for kids, visit artastickids.com.